Hello and welcome back to Manufacture Nuclear Edition. Since last time, I have been making just a few things that I needed to think about. First off, I have bricked this one to supply that MV line there. And yes, it just punches straight through the wall. And I rigged up an additional outtake from each of these. Now, I looked at this and figured out that I am doing a total of 3,000 arrive per tick. Good enough. We are not facing any brownouts or anything. Hello, village really, one and two. But if I look inside here, and let's just take the conveyor as an example, because they all do use the same. This guy in assembly one, that's 100 RF. If we go the inserter, oh, wait a minute, let's, let's take the circuit board here. This two, where is it? There it is. Let's see, again, 100. I'm actually over capacity on these. I'm using more energy than I can supply, which is why I have two on here. Because I should be using something like 4000 RF in total in here. Yeah, that's an issue. And this one is not so bad. I haven't calculated the exact figures because that's a bit annoying. I haven't calculated all of this, and I have not even looked at what I'm using over there. But yes, it is running as insulated wires. Uh, no more sapping for me. So what I did is, since I have three generators there, I just ran three lines down. I have already hooked up... I ah, can't get across. Okay. We will run this way then. Because eh, I can't get across there either. Yay! Ah, okay, we came down. And actually hooked up all of this. Again, I'm using two connectors. Because I believe this one is just a regular pass through. But uh, I can see my lamps are out. Why are my lamps out? That's not good. It's hooked up there. That's fine. Are we facing... We are facing shortfalls, I think. Yeah, we are definitely short on power. So, that's a bad thing. Now, I can do a temporary thing and that is hooking up all three together but because it is temporary I think I would prefer actually doing that on on one that I can just disconnect There, now I've hooked up all three generators, so we should be sending 3,000 down this line. Let's see if that works. Yes, now everything in here is happy. So yeah, that's why I need to reorder my priorities. Can't really do all the things I want. I don't have the power for it. Now... I should be able to transfer 8,000 through each of the MV lines. Um, so if we look, to make a power, MV power grid, which is needed before I can do the preheaters, I should take a look at our power options. This thing, advanced steam turbine, 2,000 RF per tick. However, 
this one only uses one third the steam one of these boilers puts out. So I should actually be able to power three turbines off each of these instead of just one, plus the double the power. So mm. I like that. Let's see, we should need that much. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm not too much keen on the liquids just yet. I might. But for now, let's just put the rest of this stuff in. We got the steam boiler. No. Hey? Advanced timber? Um, what is it called? Ah, okay. I think uh, something crossed something. Right, we can do this. Hardened fluid ducts we can make. We can do these easily enough. I don't think I can repackage, though. So that's a bummer. Bronze gears we have on hand. Cobalt steel. Okay. What do I need? I need an ore mixer, cobalt dust, and steel blend. Okay, that's easy enough. Let's start by the thing taking the longest. I need cobalt. Uh, yeah, I think the. I think I actually need six of them, right? Because you need ten. That's six. I should actually have nine. Ah, well, we we will do this. Mm, and then we need steel blend. I think we got that covered over here. This guy. Yep. One stack of steel blend. Oh, that's a little bit of steel blend. And a little bit of steel blend. And I need exactly 60. Okay, I thought that was uh, nasty. You have steel? No. Right, let's get out of here and pick up all those bronze gears we need. I just still can't run through here. We I have to go like this, and I wonder is that no, nope, that's the copper wire, that's the steel. Aha, oh, that's copper wire. Where did I put the, the bronze? I'm pretty sure I have bronze gears somewhere. Where did I put bronze gears? That's a bronze plate. Didn't I have bronze gears? Huh. That's weird. I thought I was using bronze gears for something. Or maybe not. Let's just check that. What do we use this for? Assembly machine, we can use it for inserters. Or did I just make them whenever I needed them? Yeah, it looks like. Okay. Good enough. And how many did I need? Five, so... Th 
So we need those to make six. Be good. I'm just happy we got spawn protection up before nightfall. Yeah, we'll need seven more. We'll get that. No. Don't like those annoying little buggers. Now, I think this is an ore mixer. And yet it doesn't require any. Okay, purified copper blend. We can deal with that. Yeah, it's running. That's good. I see a mob running around on the other side of that house. And something underground. We're good. And could I smelt this in anything else? No, I could not. I think I need to find room for all this stuff. I am probably going to regret that. Um, I heard a sap sound. Oh, okay. That one is running into the wire sometimes. That's fine. Just close that one. And for now, we need to pop in all the wire stuff because there's way too much of it. And that battery I'm going to need later. Right. Where is the thing now? Yes, yes. I know you guys. Never satisfied. I build you a nice underground den where nothing is coming to eat you. And you complain all day long. Right, we needed seven. Boop, 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 boop. Let's just pop this in and be done. They're almost done with this, actually. And it's fairly fast. I just need to figure out, do I have no? No. No, I do not have any. Why is the light blinking? I don't like that. I don't have any blast furnace on hand. I think I need to build one down here. Because... I want one just to hang around. Blast furnace, where are you? Do I have any spares? I don't think I have. No, I have... Why do I have 17? That is such an odd number. I must have lost them. Well, I need seven and some iron and some stony stuff. PO7, where are you? Oh, seven, 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 seven. Oh, that this one is a mess. Twelve iron. And some stone stuff. Cobblestone? 
could be. Is that the, oh, that's boron. Um, do I have more? No, uh, apparently not. Huh, no. Well, I know where I can find some. I got just a slight bit up here. There we go. Just grab a stack and... Let's get up here. And again, blast furnace. Yes, like that. And you can go in and then we pop. That's still the wrong one. This one. Pop you back there. And I think I have, uh, yeah, I have one there. That should do it. And I have my thingy there. Cool. That'll do. We just need some processed coal. And this one is going to get up right there. <clears throat> In the future, at some point, we are going to automate it, I think, if we need it. There, that'll cook up. Let's get cracking on the rest of the recipe. Nope, that's not there. Here. This thing. So we have that. We need the bronze gears. We need 60 hardened fluid ducts. Ooh, do I have any? That's me. Um. Ah! Ha! Ah. We, can, we can convert these back in. Oh, that's nice. So much nice. So we got that part done. This is cooking up. We uh, we have the bronze. We will purify it. To be honest, I have no idea why I haven't set up any automation for that, but um, be that as it may. What? Nope, oh, that's on the other side. Nope, can't see it. Are you done already? 15. That's not quite what I was hoping for. Um, bronze plates. Give me bronze plates. If I can spill. Thank you. This should come rather fast. This one's still full. That's actually not all that surprising. That's my plates. Right, let's pop those out. So we don't need to, and we will leave two behind. There we go. That covers the next part of it. We'll 
take that and put it in our storage. And we got this, we got this, we're working on that. Let's just see how far are we. We're at the 20 mark, let's just get those platified. And then we need the steam turbine thing. So that's this thing. And I'm gonna need six of those. So 60 gears, 30 plates. Right? Next up, we got 60 fluid ducts. And that could be a problem. I don't think I have that many. Oh, I do. Not so big a problem then. And that's all of those. Then we need a small steam engine, which is 30 fluid ducts more. Okay, now I'm running low. Like that. And what was the next bit? chests and um, we're gonna pop chests and then we need iron gears and so those and where are my iron gears those yep and okay, I can do those. So one, two, three, four. Okay, what am I missing? I'm missing iron ingots, which should be coming. We just need to wait a short while. I don't have more iron lying around. Nope. Ah, oh, there it is. Um, yeah, let's see. That's six of them. Right. So that's those. We need the RO2. That's the three plan. There it is. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Right? That's this one. Got this, 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 we need the plates. Let's get out and see how far we are. I like that this one doesn't produce any waste. That's nice. And platify, and oh, look at this. Look, look, look. This we can do. One, two. Now, oh, we just need one thing here. Um, not this one, this one. From here, I'm actually going to need MV dots, MV wire connectors. And where are my doodads? My insulated wires are there. I think that's all I need. Let's hook up the first one.
Now, first hookup is going to be this one. So, uh, and the reason I'm taking this one is we, we need a bit more setup, which we might not get done today. But uh, let's see. Poof. Pickaxe this one. And all of this stuff is then not really usable for anything. Yeah, of course, if I want to set up another one, I can do that. But that's not really going to happen. I just wish I could repackage it. That ain't gonna happen. Guess that's the price of progress. Oh, bugger, what now? You know what? All of you Hearts are going to stay in this chest for now. Mm, I think that's all the foreign parts. Now this one, I think I can fit. Mm, nope, wrong way. So I am going to place you. So I wonder there. See, that's the output, and ah, that's a bit tight, but it will do. So this is actually an output for water, which I think I'm gonna feed up to this one. And no, I can't get up. I guess my chest will have to be scaffold then. Up here, I have my steam input. And yes, you heard it. It's spinning up. And I have my... I, I left my chest down there. I need it. Let's run back. Now I did interconnect all of them, which is good because that way I can just replace these things without worry. Okay, I needed my pipes, these pipes. Don't think I need anything else, do I? What's this? That's LV. No, no need for LV. Mm -mm -mm. Now those boilers will hand out water. And while I could pump it back, I am not gonna do that. It's noisy. Very noisy. And this one is actually going to come across the floor. And you will go away. That's my trash can. And no. That ain't gonna happen. Didn't think it could connect that way. Apparently it can't. So, what it will do is it will fire out all the water. And it has a full one there. So, we hook up one of these. This will take 4,000. And we need one of you and one of you. 
Then we need to hook you up to the ceiling up there. Yeah, you are all interconnected, so we're good. Right, let's see what, what it looks like. It's pumping out 1.2, 1.6k. Steam is keeping up. Yeah, this is a bit tight. Right. If I hook up this side as well, like this, and we need this and no, this. I don't want you there. Let's see this one. It's doing the same. 1.2, 1.6. Did this one. Now it's 1.2, 1.7. So theoretically, we are pumping up to 4000 RF per tick out into that one. Plus potentially two from either of these. Now we are bypassing stuff down there. So we need the entire power grid to be set up. I might rearrange these a tiny bit. I'm not satisfied with space up here, but I need to maintain power production. Otherwise the modular machines, they go haywire. But as you can see, I can take out all of these replace them with two of those for nearly the same space and I should be good I mean those are running perfectly fine max steam max water temperature is good yeah and I should actually be able to put one more on the same line from there So between episodes, I'll be re replacing these and I might find a more optimal arrangement than this. But on the other hand, I have a run straight down the middle where I can discharge the, the not so used water. And I wonder why these are all spinning up. Am I really using that much? Apparently I am. Huh. Well, what do you know? That will be my task between episodes. So, next time we'll see about rigging out all the power lines and starting to get rid of some of these LV lines. So, until then, bye-bye.